Hello guys, welcome to Coding with Meet. I'm Meet Patel, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the web.config file in your ASP.NET web application when you edit a built-in SQL Server database in it. If you want to know how to add a built-in SQL Server database in your web application, then the link is in the description. So once you edit a database to your web application, you need to connect the database with your web application. To connect the database with your web application, you need to add a connection string to the web.config file. So double click on the web.config file, go under the configuration tag and start the connection string tag. And in the between the connection string tag, start the add tag. In the add tag, select or type the name attribute. The name attribute defines the ID or the name of the connection string. Here I am giving the name as connection string. Now we have to provide a connection string. So type or select the connection string attribute. You can find the connection string in the properties of the database. So click on the database name, go to its properties, and in the properties you can find the connection string. So select it all and copy it and now paste it. 